All right, welcome back. We are setting some traps today. Not many. Oh, it's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. Um, got a culvert here, Main Creek. There's a bunch of sign, muskrat, mink, um, probably some raccoon. He, Cooper wants to catch a raccoon. And a fox. Oh, and a fox, but we're not setting for fox today. But yeah, there's clamshells, cuttings, muskrat clippings. You can see this bank's all worn. Oh, we're gonna set some traps. I got some new things to try out, some, um, I don't know what you call them, not stabilizers, but you'll see. It's like a suspended pocket set almost. Okay, so what I got is these, I bought these from Sudden Valley, and they go in like right there under the levers, and the trap sits there, just under like an inch or two of water. And then they sell bait holders, but I just made my own out of some wire. This goes in the mud, wire off, all done. Pretty simple, isn't it? I was also trying to, I want to try to catch coyotes too, so. Okay, just like that. That sits on there, that trap will fire, they go off, and they drown. So we're gonna set this one. Just stay up there, buddy. Can you zoom in with this? No. Hold it straight. Okay, and for bait, carrot. just a carrot. And then boom. When it goes off. And carrot's right up there. I have some muskrat lure. I really don't know how much of a difference a muskrat lure makes, but we're gonna try some. <clears throat> yes. So it's going to be a really long video. Okay, go ahead and turn it off. And this, I bought, hold it straight, buddy. This is a stabilizer, so basically the trap's going to look like this. And we're going to set this culvert up. One here, probably a body grip here for the mink. And then I'm going to do a stacked top edge set here, which I just learned about, which seems pretty cool, with a foothold. Turn us roughly stand like up here or something. Just stand right there, buddy. You're okay. Is that a rocking trap, Dad? I'm not scrap. Alright, see like that? Pull it straight, bud. Straight. See like that? And then I have you can adjust the height of it. Looks really cool. I think it should work really good. It's a time saver and game changer. And easily puts it in the water. And when when it goes off, boom, that's gonna go off like that. It's gonna drown and hopefully we can, hopefully if I catch a scum today or tomorrow, we're gonna shoot it. I might shoot it. I don't know. But let's get back into the video. Okay, so I made this top edge. I'll show you guys in a minute. We're using probably the best mink trap there is. A number two Victor square jaw. All right, I'm here checking. You probably wonder why the footage got cut off so quick yesterday. And I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Um, I just set three yesterday. I'm going to another spot. Water's up, it rained a lot last night and now you can see it's snowing. But check this out. This is why footage stopped immediately. I only got three sets in. 
So here it is. You okay? Come on. Come on. Stand still. You okay? Oh, the camera's on. <laughs> Okay. okay. What? Okay. Here. Hold on to that. What happened? I went to grab you. I got myself in the trap. Are you okay? I'm cold. And then I, the water's come up probably six inches. You can see Connor Bear still set. That set off, which um, I hate to think I missed a mink, but maybe I did. And then this one, you can see even the carrots underwater there. Trap still set, so water will be back down not too long. I'm going to get this number two reset for the mink, and then we'll carry on to the next spot. Okay, so... You saw, this is the other side of that culvert. Um, there's one spot for a 110. I don't really have a lot of confidence in this spot. If I'm gonna catch him, it's gonna be at the other side of this culvert. But it's just in case. So just 110, one of these stabilizers, works real good. I've had these forever. Actually, my dad got these for me when I was probably 13 or 14, just starting to trap on my own. Like that. Well, huh. Okay, so that took a little finagling to do, but again, not a lot of confidence in this set, but it's just in case something comes up through down there. Um, 110. Like you see this rock comes down, there's another rock on this side, so actually more I look at this being a place for a foothold, but rat or mink coming up just gonna get it in there. Forgot to add that last clip of Cooper falling in. He's okay. He was just cold and kind of surprised. So only four sets in, but it better than nothing. I checked out that other spot and the water is high not high but it's up enough that I don't want to set yet because I have to just have to reset after the water goes back down but tomorrow is opening day of rifle season here I won't be out but good luck to all those going out with the orange army we'll talk to you later